History for sale at Nine Meadow Lane in the residence park section of New Rochelle, a century old house that once belonged to the pride of the New York Yankees. The section of road out front renamed Lou Gehrig Way in his memory. Neighbors are waiting for something good to happen here. I want this house to be beautiful all over again, the way it used to be years ago. Guaranteed handy work. <laughs> Crazy. Garrick worked on and lived in the home for six years at the height of his fame. The Yankee slugger and first baseman bought the place for his parents and stayed with them until his marriage in 1933. Real estate agent Arthur Sinta says the interior details, like the old clothes washing sinks in the basement, are especially evocative. You can imagine Mrs. Garrick down here scrubbing his uniforms, scrubbing the grass stains out. Historians agree the house retains much of its original detail. It is as it was when Lou Gehrig used to stretch out on the front porch to take his nap. It's the same as when Ma Gehrig used to cook up uh, fried chicken and pickled eels for Babe Ruth and the other Yankees. I mean, gosh, it's the same. Three months after Gehrig bought the place in 1928, a reporter for the New York Sun spoke with him right on this spot on the front lawn. Arthur's got the quote. Read it, Arthur. Not a bad joint, is it? Three floors and a basement. Eight or nine rooms, and I never saw a place with so many doors. Gaze on the garage. It's a form-fitting place, but big enough for my old bust. Come here and look at the front porch. I'm going to have it screened in. Upstairs in the back, I'm having a sleeping porch built for myself. Can't get too much fresh air. The house sold at auction recently for just over 300 grand and is on the market again, so it's a bargain by Westchester standards, even if it needs hundreds of thousands of dollars in renovations. Potential tax credits for preserving history could sweeten the pot even more. I think actually it makes economic sense irrespective of Gehrig, but you add Gehrig to the equation and it becomes a home run. A little baseball real estate humor in New Rochelle. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. Despite its history, attempts to give the former Lou Gehrig House landmark status failed years ago when the owner at that time resisted.